I am Ra. I greet you in the love and the light of the infinite creator. I communicate now. Question 12.1 Questioner, I got a call from Henry Paharich this afternoon and he will be here next month. I would like to ask if it is permissible for him to join in our circle and ask questions. I would also like to ask if Michael D. Obrinovic, also known as George Hunt Williamson, could join our circle as well. Answer, I am Ra. These entities, at present, are not properly attuned for the particular work due to vibrational distortions which in turn are due to a recent lack of time-space which you call busyness. It would be requested that the entities spend a brief time-space in each diurnal cycle of your planet in contemplation. At a future time-space in your continuum you are requested to ask again. This group is highly balanced to this instrument's vibratory distortions due to, firstly, contact with the instrument on a day-to-day -day basis. Secondly, due to contact with the instrument through meditation periods. Thirdly, through a personal mind-body-spirit complex distortion towards contemplation which in some causes this group to be effective. Question 12.2 Questioner, in the last session you mentioned that the Orion Crusaders came here in chariots. Could you describe the chariots? Answer, I am Ra. The term chariot is a term used in warfare among your peoples. That has its significance. The shape of the Orion craft is one of the following, firstly, the elongated, ovoid shape which is of a darker nature than silver but which has a metallic appearance if seen in the light. In the absence of light, it appears to be red or fiery in some manner. Other craft include disc-shaped objects of a small nature approximately 12 feet in your measurement in diameter, the box-like shape approximately 40 feet to a side in your measurement. Other craft can take on a desired shape through the use of thought control mechanisms. There are various civilization complexes which work within this group. Some are more able to use intelligent infinity than others. The information is very seldom shared, therefore, the chariots vary greatly in shape and appearance. Question 12.3 Questioner, is there any effort on the part of the Confederation to stop the Orion chariots from arriving here? Answer, I am Ra. Every effort is made to quarantine this planet. However, the network of guardians, much like any other pattern of patrols on whatever level, does not hinder each and every entity from penetrating quarantine. For if request is made in light love, the law of one will be met with acquiescence. If the request is not made, due to the slipping through the net, then there is penetration of this net. Question 12.4 Questioner, who makes this request? Answer, I am Ra. Your query is unclear. Please restate. Question 12.5 Questioner, I don't understand how the Confederation stops the Orion chariots from coming through the quarantine. Answer, I am Ra. There is contact at the level of light form or light body being depending upon the vibratory level of the Guardian. These Guardians sweep reaches of your Earth's energy fields to be aware of any entities approaching. An entity which is approaching is hailed in the name of the One Creator. Any entity thus hailed is bathed in love light and will of free will obey the quarantine due to the power of the law of one. Question 12.6 Questioner, what would happen to the entity if he did not obey the quarantine after being hailed? Answer, I am Ra. To not obey quarantine after being hailed on the level of which we speak would be equivalent to your not stopping upon walking into a solid brick wall. Question 12.7 Questioner, what would happen to the entity if he did this? What would happen to his chariot? Answer, I am Ra. The creator is one being. The vibratory level of those able to breach the quarantine boundaries is such that upon seeing the love light net it is impossible to break this law. Therefore, nothing happens. No attempt is made. There is no confrontation. The only beings who are able to penetrate the quarantine are those who discover windows or distortions in the space-time continue surrounding your planet's energy fields. Through these windows they come. These windows are rare and unpredictable. Question 12.8 Questioner, does this account for what we call UFO flaps, where a large number of UFOs show up like in 1973? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. Question 12.9. Questioner, 
and most of the UFOs which are seen in our skies from the Orion group. Answer, I am Ra. Many of those seen in your skies are of the Orion group. They send out messages. Some are received by those who are oriented towards service to others. These messages then are altered to be acceptable to those entities while warning of difficulties ahead. This is the most that self-serving entities can do when faced with those whose wish is to serve others. The contacts which the group finds most helpful to their cause are those contacts made with entities whose orientation is towards service to self. There are many thought form entities in your skies which are of a positive nature and are the projections of the confederation. Other sightings are due to the inadvertent visualization by your people's optical mechanisms of your own government's weaponry. Question 12.10 Questioner, which group was it that contacted Henry Paharich in Israel around 1972? Answer, I am Ra. We must refrain from answering this query due to the possibility probability that the one you call Henry will read this answer. This would cause distortions in his future. It is necessary that each being use free and complete discernment from within the all self which is at the heart of the mind, body, spirit complex. Question 12.11 Questioner, would that also keep you from answering who it was that the group I was in, in 1962, contacted then? Answer, I am Ra. This query may be answered. The group contacted was the Confederation. Question 12.12 Questioner, did they have any of their craft in our area at that time? Answer, I am Ra. There was no craft. There was a thought form. Question 12.13 Questioner, you mentioned that the Orion Crusaders, when they get through the net, give both technical and non-technical information. I think I know what you mean by technical information, but what type of non-technical information do they give? And am I right in assuming that this is done by telepathic contact? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. Through telepathy the philosophy of the law of one with the distortion of service to self is promulgated. In advanced groups there are rituals and exercises given and these have been written down just as the service to others oriented entities have written down the promulgated philosophy of their teachers. The philosophy concerns the service of manipulating others that they may experience service towards the other self, thus through this experience becoming able to appreciate service to self. These entities would become oriented towards service to self and in turn manipulate yet others so that they in turn might experience the service towards the other self. Question 12.14 Questioner, would this be the origin of what we call black magic? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct in one sense, incorrect in another. The Orion group has aided the so-called negatively oriented among your mind, body, spirit complexes. These same entities will be concerning themselves with service to self in any case and there are many upon your so-called inner planes which are negatively oriented and thus available as inner teachers or guides and so-called possessors of certain souls who seek this distortion of service to self. Question 12.15 Questioner, is it possible for an entity here on earth to be so confused as to call both the Confederation and the Orion group in an alternating way, first one? then the other, and then back to the first again. Answer, I am Ra. It is entirely possible for the untuned channel, as you call that service, to receive both positive and negative communications. If the entity at the base of its confusion is oriented towards service to others, the entity will begin to receive messages of doom. If the entity at the base of the complex of beingness is oriented towards service to self, the Crusaders, who in this case, do not find it necessary to lie, will simply begin to give the philosophy they are here to give. Many of your so-called contacts among your people have been confused and self-destructive because the channels were oriented towards service to others but, in the desire for proof, were open to the lying information of the crusaders who then were able to neutralize the effectiveness of the channel. Question 12.16 Questioner, are most of these crusaders fourth density? Answer, I am Ra. There is a majority of fourth density. That is correct. 